Hi, this is Tim Ward, host of the writing podcast, Audio Tim, and I am going to do a tutorial on how to set up a podcast and how to edit a podcast. Uh, start real quick with some free programs. Uh, the first one is Skype. Skype is a program where you can talk for free uh, with other people using uh, internet connection. Uh, so going to skype.com, you would go over here to the right, click on that, go to features, oh wait, there you go, get Skype. I'm a Windows user, so I would click there and download Skype for free. Um, I pretty much doubt that you would need to get the Skype premium right off the bat. Uh, video calls if you want to do video stuff Google Plus Hangout is free uh, so that's nice I haven't figured out a way to record that but um, I'm not doing a video conference recording for my podcasting purposes so I don't have to do that um, if someone has a Skype account you can call them for free some people do not have Skype and so you need to or you can call their phone with Skype and that charges you but it's a very cheap rate um, I can't remember the exact details but uh, let's see anyway it's cheap I sp spend like fifteen dollars and that will last me a few months um, depending on if I even need to use it because most people have Skype. Okay, and then um, once I get someone's Skype and we're all hooked up, I have Call Graph, uh, and I'll put the links here in the notes. Uh, this is a free program, and it records my audio and uploads it into a online storage and then also into a folder for me. If you notice here on my desktop, um, just double click on that it's waiting for Skype I suppose I'll open up Skype too just to show you how easy it is and see here it says ready to record and I would just hit this red button blah 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 I'm recording hit stop and that would automatically upload to the call graph website as well as into my uh, folder. Uh, the other program is Levelator. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. Um, it just kind of helps level out the audio is essentially what it does um, for newbies like myself. Even though I've been podcasting for a year, I still don't know exactly well, I don't know a, a ton of stuff about audio editing, and this kind of makes an easier smoothing process. All right, so once you got those three programs, you're recording something, you're un done with the recording. Audacity is the last program. I suppose I could have uh, showed you how to download that, but that's also free. It's You can probably find it through CNET or audible.com, or not audible, audacity.com and what you do is uh, go to file import audio <laughs> got a lot of episodes there let's see I'm using Windows 7 so this is how you do it libraries documents and then see this folder right here my call graphs that's where you'll pluck the audio from and I am editing a Mike Shevden interview and uh, this is how call graph arranges it the Skype username the time date and let's see Mike and I interviewed on Thursday the 10th and then realized uh, well he's gonna do a giveaway and so we re-recorded the intro and let's see we kinda chatted <laughs> we got three because the first time was just saying hello what we're gonna do 915 and then uh, 916 is the actual intro and uh, 
towards the end of our intro, something happened with his computer, so the Skype connection was bad, so we had to hang up and try again, uh, and then this, the problem was gone. It was something with his internet, and uh, so then we got that third part, and so what I'll do is I'll open this this part, and so it imports the MP3. There you go, you have your audio. And I'm going to stop the recording here, and then we'll pick up with how to begin editing.